Yo, we're back on the Fellowship SMP, and I did a little bit of work on the moose room area. So I started doing it, thinking maybe I could find a way to make it all fit and just have mushrooms block this, but it's there's just so much. Every time I dig out a little bit more, there's a little bit of extra hoppers showing. So this is the bottom of the frog farm, or frog light farm. So all those hoppers catch the frog lights when the magma cubes fall down so I think I might just have to black out that area and just do little tiny mushrooms right here and then brown mushroom over here or something and then just let the things go the mushrooms go and uh, really cheap one maybe I'll just knock that out a little bit higher and then make color mushrooms or something I'm not sure but I think I'm gonna have to make that exhibit a little bit smaller than I wanted it to and then this side, we made extra big. I'm probably going to knock it back a few, yeah, maybe like five, six more blocks. And then we can start putting in some mangrove stuff there. So I'm hoping to get both of these done by the end of the week. But first, we have a few other things that we want to do. So the first thing we need to do is find a Wallace. I don't remember naming him, but it is a thing I do. Um, first thing we need to do is find a wolf. Fox. Finding everything but wolf. All right, find a wolf, find a wolf. Um, what? Bruh. Well, I went out looking for a dog, but all I could find are skeleton horses that have escaped. So I'm going to put these back and then hop back on the mission. Every other type of animal. <gasps> we have spotted our first wolf friend. I forgot I had the texture pack on that makes them into that wolf. So what we're going to do, under a wolf friend, so, boop. Hey, we zombified it. And then, to make it our friend, go boop, boop. Nope, 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 you come back. E one of us. Come on, friend. Make a scavenger hunt. All right, that should be a fun one. All right, this is a little thing I came up with in creative and I just brought the schematic over here so it'll be a little bit easier to put it back together because it's kind of a mess. <laughs> I like to pretend that I know what I'm doing, but I definitely don't. So this is the scavenger hunt 3000 is I'm gonna call it. And this is a little barrel right there where you will put the items. This is the uh, board of which items you have gotten. And when you put in the wrong one, it'll flash these lights and then your item will pop back out to you. And then if you get the right one, it'll flash these lights and you will be able to mark it on the board and then go get the other ones. And then when you're done, you'll push that button to reset everything because otherwise it'll just trigger the annoying bell sound for when you win forever. So the way it works is we have a, oh, let me go over here. There is a little filter right here. And when you get the right ones, it will uh, send them down into their correct spot, which will trigger the light to go on if it's correct and go into this spot and when all of them are done it will allow the item to go all the way through which will trigger this little thing over here and that will start the system to trigger the bell I don't know if I explained that well it is uh, kind of weird to try and explain it when you can't actually go to the spot on it but yeah here we'll jump into a time lapse and maybe I'll be able to explain it a little bit better after that.
is the completed redstone and I still need to add the stuff into the sorter to get that going and then put the decorations and stuff and like where you stand I think I'm gonna have this just like kind of mountain over the back of it so it'll kind of be built in not mountain but like a hill built into a little hill there so I think the first person we're gonna give it to is Chris and we will give him a stroker of the hints and he'll have to collect the different um, things that work into this order and put them in and try and win his prize. I tried to set this up so it could be reusable so it wouldn't just be like a one time thing and maybe other people can get in it later but for now I'm gonna be the only one that can really reset it because I don't want to have to try and explain it to people but it's going to need to be all uh, items that can stack to 64 because that's the sorter that I used because it's easiest <laughs> so um, for right now we're just gonna see if we can stick to those and Maybe someday we can expand it, but I don't think it's really necessary. Well, we got it all decorated and I think it looks pretty good. So we put this little thing over here that has the instructions for how to use it and stuff. And I dropped over a shulker at Chris's base. so I have him tagged as the person that is gonna first try it out and yeah it seems like it should all work fine if I throw in like a piece of chicken which obviously is not gonna be one of the items because I want to throw it in here we go all works so we'll see how this turns out hopefully he will have a decent time with it and be able to win his prize well, I spammed these uh, propagules everywhere thinking that they wouldn't grow because they didn't have enough room. But apparently they didn't care about that and now this place is kind of overflown. But I kind of like it. So I think what I might do here is I might even just leave this open Oh, but then they get in the way so maybe I won't leave it open but I do want to have something like this where part of the roots are crossing over and coming into this side so maybe I'll do that and then also have a mushroom growing partly into that so it's kind of like they're intertwining but I will have to clear this out so that I can re uh, build it which isn't gonna be difficult it looks pretty uh, crammed in and I guess I could just really you reuse all the stuff that I get here so I got this area kind of blacked out and ready for moving in the trees and moving in the mushrooms and maybe adding another brown mushroom and stuff but been a bit busy <laughs> and just been doing texture pack stuff like a new elytra and some new armor changes and totem and some weapon stuff and got real distracted with all that and kind of lost track of time but I think we're gonna be able to finish this up and move on to uh, blacking out the rest of this part and calling a wrap on the zoo well we finally got it all done I got the frogs in there, I got the mushrooms in there, a little bit of this goes through so I thought that was a neat little touch. And then you walk out, or you finish coming out, and I'm going to set up a little exit thing right there and you can just walk yourself out. Finally the express on the zoo is done. Or is it? <laughs> 